What's going on everyone? In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and cover everything new for beta 6 of watchOS 9, as well as everything new for iOS 16. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the Apple Watch side of things. So let me allow this camera to focus, there we go. And to the most part, after downloading this public beta, I have noticed an improvement in overall performance because look at this, our watch faces are now properly loading up. Where before, previously, it was kind of like lagging and sometimes the watch faces wasn't loading or anything like that. It looks like Apple finally resolved this issue. So that's something I noticed with the beta 6 profile. Even for the public beta is performance improvements. Because another thing that was struggling and having like performance problem was also the Apple Watch mirroring. So this is new for watchOS 9 as well as iOS 16. So if you don't know how to do this, on your main device, if you go ahead and launch it and go into your settings and you scroll down to accessibility right here, scroll down until you find Apple Watch mirroring. With this enabled, basically it will actually mirror everything that your Apple Watch sees on your iPhone display. So give it a couple seconds to load. There you go. Now it looks like Apple is actually going for the red, uh, the blue outline instead of the red. Previously, this used to be red, but the previous few updates, it's been the default blue. And now everything looks like it loads smoother than before. Oh, never mind. It's still kind of buggy. Wait, no, it was actually right. Well, that's actually mirroring the Apple Watch. But to the most part, I have noticed that it's been more accurate and more consistent than ever before. As, yeah, it still has a hard time loading everything properly, but to the most part, it's performing a lot better than previously. As I actually add complications. And of course, I have control of the digital crown here too by simply tapping on it. So yeah, that's been improved. Again, this is gonna be a common theme I've noticed with the beta 6 for iOS 16 and watchOS 9. It's just, it's just been improvements in performance and stuff. And speaking of performance, if you're on the series four or the series five and you're on the developer beta and the public beta, Apple will actually improve the battery performance on those devices. Apparently they had to recalibrate it because this was a part of Apple notes. Apple stated they recalibrated the battery for the series four and the series five. So it can actually maximize its battery capacity. So I guess those battery issues on those devices. So if you're on those two devices, the Series 4 or the Series 5, you should be expecting better overall battery performance as Apple resolved that. Another known issue that Apple had a note on their logs as well is if you use Apple Pay and you're using an American Express card, if you're experiencing any bugs, Apple recommends deleting that card and re-add it to resolve any bugs so I guess this was a common issue that Apple actually had to put on their little log right here. But aside from that, basically that's the new changes for watchOS 9. If you actually tap edit, all the icons are the same. They didn't add anything new or anything like that. Although it does look like they changed the font or something. Something about the edit widget page for the control center looks different. Comment in down below if you notice anything or is it just me? But everything else, it's basically has been the same including the water lock, you still have to hold to unlock. And it still has the new animation. Nice demo, so it still, still turns red if the Apple Watch is charging and dock below 10%. So yeah, everything here looks very similar. It seems like Apple is no longer adding new features, which makes sense because we are on the last stage of the updates. Now we're actually receiving these beta updates every week on the Apple Watch, including our iPhone. So let's go ahead and cover the new changes for iOS 16 beta six. So aside from the Apple Watch mirroring, Apple recently added the battery life percentage icon right here. We now have the capability to actually have the percentage right here. Unfortunately, it's only supported on some devices still. So if you have an iPhone XR, you're unable to do that. Even though you have the screen real estate space to do that, but that's not supported yet and there's no confirmation if it will actually become supported ever. So we still have to play the guessing game and wait for the feature updates to know if it will become supported for an XR or not. But they did change one thing. If you actually go into your settings and look for a battery, if you enable low power mode, it will actually continue the battery percentage. Previously, it wouldn't do that. When you enter a low power mode, it will actually like disable that. But now, that no longer is the case. You can actually keep it on even in low power mode. And also if you go ahead and plug in your device to power, 
It now has a cool new animation right here for the battery life percentage. And then another tweak I noticed, whenever you're playing music on a lock screen, the album artwork, if you tap it, will enlarge. But Apple did shrink down the album artwork because it used to be a lot larger. So Apple is still like fine tweaking things here and there. And then if you rely on or if you're using the Apple privacy relay and your membership expired, if you actually go into your profile and you go into your iCloud right here, go into privacy relay. If you forget to renew your membership, not only will it turn off by default, but down in the description, it will actually tell you the reason why it turned off. So previously it didn't do that. And then another new change that's worth noting is in the wallpaper section in customize, it'll actually take you straight to the customization page. Previously you had like a little pop-up saying if you like to customize the home or the lock page, which kind of made the process slower, but now it just gets straight to the point. But aside from that, that's basically it in terms of watchOS 9, new changes and improvements, and iOS 16. Again, we're approaching at the end cycle of these updates for the beta. So now it's actually weekly. So it looks like Apple is on track and schedule with these update release for improvements and new features. But I doubt there's gonna be any more new features because I think we've seen it all at this point. Now we're at the part where Apple is just improving everything, making everything work flawlessly like it should. So these next few weeks, I'm sure we're just gonna experience nothing but improvements and such for performance and less bugs. But from my ownership experience so far with this beta, it's been more consistent. There hasn't been any issues with like third party apps of them randomly crashing. It's becoming more supported on iOS 16 and watchOS 9, which is great. But something tells me the next few uh, changes and updates are gonna, are gonna revolve around Apple CarPlay as Apple Tees does in the beginning. So I'm definitely looking forward to those, especially now since they're in partnership with certain vehicle manufacturers like Ford and Jaguar and stuff. Hopefully we see more new widgets get added for CarPlay that will actually allow us to monitor our MPG and, and, and like horsepower or even OBD2 abilities as well. That would be kind of neat. I'm seriously hoping for that's the next ones because I really want to test out those new widgets, especially now the fact that we actually have a true weather app right there it looks like. And this is an actual image that Apple showed us. So I'm saying the next update, it's going to revolve around CarPlay, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. But aside from that, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate it if you actually leave this video a like. It'll help me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you wish to watch more, make sure to check out that video over there where I cover a bunch of my favorite accessories for the Apple Watch. And that video over there, that is the video YouTube's recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one.